Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and today I will present you some updates of the Zendesk connector and also I will present you a new case with this connector. So, from the new Connect Marketplace, download the Zendesk connector and then on your iPad Studio, you go to all packages, write Zendesk and you have your iPad thing Zendesk activity. This is the version 125, so be sure that you have this version or one higher than this one. Okay, let's see what uh, is new. So first the connector was redesigned for um, uh, the Studio 2090.10 because it was a problem with the design with all the connectors and so on. So I fixed this stuff with the uh, redesign. Now, it was a lot of, we have a lot of questions regarding how you, you select um, a ticket based on status, yeah? So I modify something on the get ticket list. So drag and drop here, get ticket list. Let's also connect and we'll see what is uh, what is new. So basically here you are able to put queries, queries by status and so on. So for example, I want to search all the tickets that are open, yeah? So I'll go here, I select open and then I will say equal with open, yeah? So then I will select here query. And if I run this, I will get all the tickets that are open. But let's see this, status. Okay, let's see the subject, subject, and let's see also description, yeah? Description, okay. So we have the ID, the subject, the status, and the, the description. Good. So very easy, I'm able to select on status. So I can put uh, higher, for example, if I put higher that open, we have three tickets that are sold, yeah? Good, more you are able now to search for the subject. So inside of the subject, I want to activation. So if I write activation, I have to check it. The system will return me all the, uh, the items that have activation inside of the subject. I can search for the activation in the description. You see these two tickets, they don't have activation in descriptions. or I can do a general search. So if I go here on the query and I say activation like this, the system will search for activation everywhere. So you can see this one doesn't have activation in the subject, but has activation inside of the, uh, uh, the query, the, the description. Okay. If I want to combine this, no problem. I will say I want all the tickets that, if you see here, I have a token that it's sold, yeah? So I want all the open tickets with activation, yeah? So I'll show you only the open tickets with activation. Good. So based on this one, let's do a use case. So I already have something prepared. And let's understand what, what is the idea. I have here the Zendesk. So I will go and search for all the tickets that have inside activation. It's, uh, they are open and they have activation. And I will respond to all these tickets with an answer, and then I will uh, move all these tickets to solve, yeah? So all these tickets are open, yeah? So what I will do? I will do this. First, I will have a get tickets, yeah? And on the, this get ticket, I will say like this. I want to search to have activation. Activation, okay? And I want all the tickets to have the status open. So I will select open, and then I will say equal. And I will put on query and hit run. And here I configure to have the uh, status, uh, the, uh, the ID and the status, yeah? Status here, let me put like this status and double click, okay? Um, so these tickets are have the, uh, the status open and they have activation inside, yeah? Now, let's, um, this is the first step, I will save. Now, I will search on this data table, so I'll make a for each on this data table, and I will add a, co a, co um, a comment. So for each ticket, I will say body, answer for the robot, where you'll find activation, where you find activation, and here I can put a link, yeah? 
have a link here. Yeah. Okay. And after this, I will update the, the status of the ticket to be, so when I put the comment, I put here that the ticket ID will be uh, row zero to string to the first row. And when I update again, I have the row zero to string, the first row. And here I will update the status to be sold. So now I will go and run the robot. The robot is running on the background. And you will see that three tickets from here that have activation will disappear, yeah? Let's refresh. And you'll see we remain only with two tickets open. Let's check again from here, from the um, gate data. So let's say that I want to search for activation. Activation. Okay, I'm on the query. And I run, and we say what the tickets we have. Let's see the status, status, and uh, subject, object, and description. Okay, so you see all the tickets are solved, yeah? And here on these tickets, uh, so for example, we have number two, yeah, number two, number five. Let's go and see that we have also the answer, yeah? So when I will go to a ticket, I will see here that I want ticket number two. And if I will see oh, ticket number two, you will see that mm, ticket is sold. And also the computer was able, the robot was able to answer to this ticket, uh, ticket to answer from the robot activation link and so on. So this is a simple example, how to get the tickets that you want from, um, uh, from the system, do something, make a reply, and then update uh, the status, yeah? You can also uh, do this stuff on the dates, yeah? On the create date, you have limitation, you have greater than less, update, solve, and so on. So uh, that's the idea, that's the update with the, uh, uh, with the Zendesk connector and a lot of uh, bug fixing on this one. Good. Remember, if you have more, if you want more videos about Zendesk, go to my YouTube page and here you have a Zendesk uh, playlist with a lot of videos. Yeah, and also we have support for Jira, ServiceNow, Salesforce, NetSuite and other software. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye bye.